Thank you all so much for joining us here halfway through this Friday at noon. I'm Brennan Summer. Straight to that breaking story. Two people are dead after a car flipped over at the 490 exit off ramp in Culver Road in Rochester this morning. Adam Chodak was there at the scene minutes after it happened. He joins us now live with what we know. Adam. Brennan, the wreckage is right behind the refuse area that's right behind me. We're not showing it right now because crews are actually removing the two bodies from the car. As Brennan did know, two people died in this rollover crash. There were four people in the car, though. There was the driver who survived and another person both taken to the hospital. When I first got to the scene, you're going to see in the video that the wreckage is right next to the parking lot at the Culver Road Armory, and I thought that the crash must have happened in the parking lot until a medic told me that it actually started on 490, which is hard to believe when you see what happened. Witnesses tell me that the car was driving eastbound on 490, possibly at a high rate of speed. It then lost control and then rolled up the hill and came to rest at the top of the embankment. Those witnesses saying they heard a loud bang, possibly when it hit the light pole, which is down in the area. State troopers say that the driver was actually outside of the car when they got here and was hysterical, combated. That lines up with what a witness told me. And that witness was outside at the time taking a smoke break and he had this to say about what happened when state police tried to get control of the situation. The state police surrounded, surrounded him and say, well, you gotta come down, you gotta come down, you gotta come down. He, he was not coming down. So I said, we will uh, uh, restrain you, arrest you, something like that. I was not nearby, I just saw it from the distance. And then what happened? Then tried to uh, put handcuffs on him because uh, he was uh, very agitated. He was resistant, so they put him down on the ground, and he was still resisting, so they tased him. So that man, according to troopers, was arrested but also taken to the hospital for minor injuries. We're not sure about the injuries of that third passenger, but again, two people have died. I will note that it was raining even harder than it was than it is right now when I got here. So weather might have been a factor in this. Speed might have been a factor as well, according to witnesses, but troopers right now not offering up any potential cause of this crash so we're going to have to wait and see about that while we wait though state police would like anyone who might have captured this on dash cam video perhaps they were on 490 at the time if they could send that either to them directly or you can send it to us in the newsroom and we'll make sure that it gets into their hands so they can add that to their investigation which continues along with the cleanup here at the culver road armory in rochester reporting live adam chodak news 8 brendan back to you Adam, thank you. Just an awful scene there this morning. We, of course, will stay on this, update you at home as soon as we learn more throughout the day. You can find that right on the homepage of RochesterFirst.com and then on air again tonight beginning at 4.